there. Good after, uh, good morning and welcome back to um, Painting and Crafting with Alex. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and give a little bit of an intro for the people who have been, who have just started watching since I started doing these uh, videos. And uh, we live in Raleigh, North Carolina. I um, used to live in Costa Rica. I'm married and we have, my husband's actually on the video, of, um, t taking the camera video. And we have two small children, a little boy and a girl, Tristan and Sasha. Tristan is three and a half, and our sweet little Sasha turned two on Saturday. And we had the most epic, wonderful, beautiful, magical unicorn party for her. It was just, it was just absolutely perfect all around. I could have not been happier with how her birthday came out. Like I made the cake and the decor and so forth. So this week I kind of wanted to pay a little bit of a tribute to her and kind of show you a project. It's more of like an upcycle yet really pretty project that you can have for decor in your home or your near little girl's room and so forth. And then also if we have enough time, I wanted to also, because it's eclipse week and everybody's all excited about the eclipse, I have a pretty funny story about how my eclipse went. So I would absolutely love to hear how your eclipses went because Mine, unfortunately, I wasn't able to see it, but due to nature. But um, I w if we have the time for that, I wanted to go ahead and do a kind of a, a starry night painting with the moon, just kind of going over how like the eclipse happened and so forth. My husband was uh, has working at the time, and he was just joking on how he's gonna make sure he sees the next eclipse. So I hope you live that long, sweets. So um, for this project, what we're gonna need is things that you use every single day in your house. Well, water bottles. I had all the neighborhood kids finding new water bottles last night since we don't use water bottles very often. So you need a water bottle, you need the cap, and you need Christmas lights. So this is a strand of lights that I had gotten a couple of years ago. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby or Walmart or somewhere. But we are going to turn in this common water bottle into a beautiful flower. Now today uh, you are going to need, uh, when you want to paint these, uh, these flowers, you do need to use spray paint. I have used acrylic paints and so forth and it really, it scratches off, it doesn't work, but spray paint is very optimal and you can use any color that you would like. I just preferred white because it goes better with her room and her decor. But yeah, so here you see this is the flower. Here's your bottle, here's the flower, the lid, and there you go. Also, I've seen um, people, they use sometimes uh, ping pong balls. So I went ahead and I got some ping pong balls. So let's just get right into it. Let's get a good old big industrial scissor, probably not the kid scissor, but this is what we have, and here we have our bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew the tap. Now, you can save the whole bottle because I've actually used um, water bottles for the whole bottle in certain projects. So let's just go here and you cut into it. And here we go. All right. So, here we'll save this. Now here you have just the top part of your water bottle. Here you're going to probably cut it a little bit more. There's kind of lines in it as you can see. It does not have to be that perfect. Oh, here we go. Alright, well, let's shape it a little bit. So here you have your water bottle. Down the water bottle is kind of a line so you can kind of see a guide. So all what we're going to do is we're gonna take our scissor and we're gonna cut. And we're gonna cut almost to the end, not all the way. And you're gonna make five cuts. So you kinda of have to calculate it. Um, here, I did five, yep. One, two, oh no, I did six actually. So actually what you can do is on the other side of the bottle, you can make another cut just so that you can keep the petals at a good, um, same sizes. And then you just go, one cut, and practice makes perfect. And 
now you have this. Doesn't look like much. Now you grab your leaves or your petals and you just bend them. Well, look at that. So, here. Just kind of form them. You gotta use a little, little less boat grease. There you go. Looky, looky, you have almost a flower. So then, you're just gonna go ahead and uh, you can make them pointed, you can make them rounded. I made them more rounded because they remind me of like the daisies and Bambi. So here, you just go with your scissors. They don't have to be that perfect. Flowers aren't perfect. Here, you just kind of have to shape them a little bit more. Alright, there we go. Alright, make them beautiful flowers. Now I'm not going to spray paint these today just because I don't really want to do it inside the house because spray paint is a little bit more toxic and I don't really want to have a mask on and so forth. But there you go. You have a beautiful, out of this, you just created a flower. And now, you ha it's very, very important. You have to keep the lid. So here, I'm going to put my flower down and let's make a hole in the bottle cap. Just very gently. I hope I don't cut myself. Ah, uh, there it went. There we go. So here you just have your hole and you go outside and you spray paint your beautiful flower. You put on the lid like this. Now here I have my beautiful Christmas lights. Here. I work and then all you do is put the Christmas light gotta be a little more careful apparently my hole is not that big enough so you just kind of trial and error just kind of open it up a little there we go that's not going on okay. so Practice makes perfect. I haven't done these in a little while. Right here. You can always use a little bit of glue, and it's not working for me. Let's see if this will work better. Ah, of and it works every other time. Well. Here. Make the hole a little bigger. I don't remember if I used a nail or what to, or a different scissor. Also, if the you make your hole a little bit too, oh, there we go. Perfect! So you have a beautiful flower with like a light, kind of like a moon flower. So I'm just going to go ahead and here I cut a hole in a ping pong ball. Let's find the one. Here it is. So if you don't want to make too many types of flowers and so forth, you can put a ping pong ball. Look how cool. So here you have like this beautiful, you can use this for like a party, like a little princess party or so forth. I think it's just absolutely magical. I'm going to go ahead and pop on a couple more of these. I don't know how I, what I use, I probably use a different scissor to make the holes because they're just going on really easy. And even though it looks pretty, even if you have a couple clear ones, it just makes it kind of more magical. Here we go. All right. And let's pop on another flower. So here you have like this beautiful strand of lights of flowers made out of water bottles. It's just absolutely perfect. Do you see any comments? Are there any comments I can answer or anything? All right. Can anybody see the video happening? All right. Well, here we're going to go for a little tour. And I'm going to go ahead and take you up to our daughter's bedroom and show you where I have these hanging in her room. All right. So this is our house. 
we've been doing a lot of renovations. We put in a new floor, painting and everything, and just kind of making it our own little home. We moved to Raleigh about a year ago. We used to live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So here we, all right. Let's go for a little walk. I don't know if you all were watching our video last week where we did a little thing called with Mod Podge and the napkins, tissue napkins. We're still working on the stairs. We haven't, we haven't finished it. We had like all the different birthday parties and everything happening. So we didn't really get a lot more time to finish it. But for those who haven't seen our staircase, uh, here it is. All right. So here's our staircase. Um, this is decoupaging napkins on the staircase. Uh, I still am actually getting comments from people saying they love it or they hate it or they think that it's tacky, but it, it's still growing on me. So we'll see how it all ends up. Our house is always a continuing project. All right. Now, I forgot these are. All right. Try it again. You're doing good. <laughs> You have to get through all the, the baby gates. <laughs> all right, now welcome to the most princessy, magical, wonderful room. Yes, we love it. This is our daughter's room. Okay, let me just go ahead and plug these in. So here, I didn't bring my extension cord. You have like all these beautiful flowers that hang ever so pretty. They're very pretty. They're like, you can use them for like a night light. Um, you know, once they're, once you go to bed and so forth, you can come and turn them off. But I just think it's a great way to upcycle and just uh, make things beautiful at like a lower cost. And also you're helping the environment at the same time. So let's uh, go on and head on back downstairs and we're gonna start on our, our, uh, our uh, tropical night painting at our little tribute to the eclipse. So here, let's go. All right. Here, let me open leave this gate open for you. All right. So now welcome back to the studio. I guess uh, Mike can kind of show you just like all the different artwork that I have. Uh, for this show I will have a giveaway and uh, it is another thing that I make. They are these absolutely beautiful mobiles. And this today, if you share, 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 please share my video and ask questions and anything that you would like to know, but uh, this is gonna be our giveaway today. This is a really pretty um, mobile that I make. It has like the different beads, it catches the sun. Um, I make these a lot for people to put like in their kids' rooms, over the crib, but obviously a lot higher up because beads can be a choking hazard. But um, everybody absolutely loves these and I personalize them for everyone. And this is probably one of my more favorite ones. It's the, the ladybugs. So if you share, share, share my video, I don't know if you, the sun is coming in. It was earlier, you could just see like all the crystals and like the, it was just absolutely just beautiful in the sun. But so this is your giveaway. So please, please, please share my video. It's very sparkly and happy. I love it. Several people say they love it and they're sharing. Oh, thank you. All right. So I would love to actually know, like, where are my viewers coming from? Like, we live in Raleigh, North Carolina, but over the past few weeks, I've seen a couple of people from Oregon, Missouri, and so forth. So please comment and let me know, like, where are you all watching my video? It's just, it's like a very exciting time for us. And it makes me so happy to see people, like, actually watching my show. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and... You got and, a Missouri. Uh-huh. You got Arizona. Ooh. I Michigan. Been, I haven't been to those. <laughs> Arkansas. 
Arkansas. All right. Did we drive through Arkansas when we were coming from Louisiana? No. no. California, Oklahoma. Oh. California. I used to live in uh, Mount Shasta. Florida. I love it. Minnesota. <laughs> All right, we're going to hit all 50 states. All right, apparently we're getting the whole 50 states. We need to get the 50 states. Western okay. Australia, Saskatchewan, oh. Canada, Maryland. Wow. All right. Wow. Utah. Thanks, everyone. Well, thank you so much. This is amazing. All right, well, oh, it's so exciting. So I don't know in the, but let me get back to uh, this. Uh, so uh, the past couple of weeks ago, I went ahead and I uh, showed everybody a list of things how a lot of times how people feel like they can't, they don't want to invest so much money to start becoming an artist because they feel like they don't get, um, they feel like they're gonna be, it's gonna be too expensive and what if you fail or if it doesn't work out and so forth. So I went ahead and I did like this little project and did kind of like a starter kit if you feel like you have the ability and the courage and just everything to go ahead and start painting. So I went ahead and I got these brushes and I'm always talking about these brushes. I got them at Walmart and they were probably about $4. And this is like the happy pack of brushes, I say, because you can absolutely do everything with these and you can use them for so many more projects. And then also I went ahead and I got this kind of like your little starter, starter kit acrylics. And uh, we have been using these and using these, and these will actually last you absolutely forever if they don't dry out. I showed a couple weeks ago how I have one tube of paint I've had for five years. So this is like the amazing, like the happy package of brushes and the great starter kit for paints. It's called Simply Acrylics. You can buy them at any other little store, but they really are like, they're like the bomb. I love them. So, here you get like all of like your basic kind of colors and so forth. So this has been like the happy, yeah, the pretty much the, the happy art project. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead. So as you can see kind of above here in my studio, this is a painting um, that we like, that I like to call Tropical Night. It is also, if you click on the link on, uh, the easiest pie shop, you can actually see all of my different artwork that I've done and uh, I sell prints off of there. So please do go ahead and look at the shop and see like all these different kind of art that I do. A lot of it is very child friendly that you can kind of put more maybe your original looking artwork in your kids' bedrooms and so forth. Um, I do custom paintings and so um, a lot of times I travel back and forth to Costa Rica because my mom and some of my family still lives there. My husband went on vacation 10 years ago and stole me from Costa Rica. So, but actually, uh, fun fact, our daughter was actually born in Costa Rica. So we have a little Latin girl in the house and believe me, she's got all that spice. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do something along these lines because it was the eclipse yesterday and I have never seen so many people like excited and happy and like just I just it was just so wonderful like see everybody like going outside and enjoying themselves and like watching this wonderful event I was at home with our two kids and the dog and the cat because apparently it was like really bad for your animals to be outside if they look directly in the sun so I had a madhouse here yesterday and then I started to feel like, oh, I really want to go and look at this eclipse. And as I was about to go outside to our back porch, there was a like five foot big black snake. And so, and it was exactly at the time that it was like full peak. And I was like, nature, this is exactly what happens to me. Like, I want to go look at the eclipse with my kids and there's a big old snake outside. But I guess the positive part was that it was out by our balcony, so our kids got this really good lesson on how you do not go up and pet the cute, pretty snake, as our son was saying, because you know every animal to him is cute and adorable, and he always wants to go pet the bunny rabbits that are running outside in the wild, or the deer. Our son is very special. We took him to an epic playground a couple weeks ago, and all he did was ignore everything and chase the squirrels. So, yeah, we got a special one there, and our daughter is just the sweetest little thing. And I definitely will be posting pictures later with uh, her birthday party pictures. I'm really, really proud of her cake. So, and how the, much was the acrylic pack of paint? Um, you know what? 
if you could put this down and actually grab my little unicorn note pack, I can actually get you the exact price. But I know like for these brushes, the paint and the canvases and I bought a four pack, a three or four pack and it was um, here. All right, let me go get that one second. I'm in all unicorn mode. So this is the mommy mommy list. Here you are. Yeah, it doesn't have price. So I think it was probably about I think in between five to seven dollars. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but all I know is that everything I got was exactly twenty dollars. So then I got uh canvas, the brushes, the paint and also before i forget i got our two base colors which is uh white because white is probably the most used uh base color and paint that you will ever use when you paint in acrylic and then i got this off-white vanilla ice cream and all of that was like twenty dollars if you go to hobby lobby and so forth it will be a lot more expensive so i was just trying to kind of do like a more crunched in budget so let's go ahead and I am going to start working on the background of the starry night. So since we had a party, we have our cup that we're going to reuse and recycle. We have your party plates. Um, I don't usually, usually use like my palette because it's just a paint palette just because I always am like um, never cleaning it and so forth. So. With the colors, you can see I used a lot of blues and so forth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dab a couple of these blues. So we have dark blue. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple, a little bit of this purple. So as you can see, I'm using just really minimal paint. And that's why I always recommend to kind of start out with like the least amount of paint as possible. Like don't, don't, um, go out and buy huge big tubes of paint because they just I've been painting and I paint so much and I never really use them so that's just kind of an example you don't want to go and make this big investment and then have end up having dry paint or even a paint that you don't like these are great starter kits so happy pack of brushes the resealable bag so here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a bigger brush. It's probably about like the biggest one in the pack. Probably about an inch. Do you think that would be an inch, honey? Yeah. Right there. All right, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and organize this a little. Put that on the cat scratching post. All right. Okay. Scissor over there, and I found the kids later. Brushes there for the minute because I'm going to. My husband bought me this beautiful paint table. Why is it not working? Ah, there we go. He bought me this beautiful paint table for my birthday. He's so sweet. Because uh, I guess we're, I'm the kind of person like if you're going to get me a gift, I got to use it. So here we are. I'm gonna put it this way and you're gonna just wet your brush a little. We're just creating the background right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put dip my brush into both these colors. I'm gonna be a little bit more generous than I normally am just cause we are doing the background. And for this part, you just kinda, see so you're gonna use a lot more paint cause it is the background. And you just start going. I, I like to sometimes hold my cup with the water just so that it helps me. So you just kind of go in this little motion here. And you see how it's pretty, how like the colors are mixing. I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more blue. All right, let's go over 
over here and put this. So let's get a generous, more generous amount of blue. Just cause it's, it's still almost full. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab just a tiny bit of white just to create a little bit of shadow. I explained in the other videos, I never open my paints, I actually unscrew them because we do have a three and a half year old and a two year old. And if you use the squirt part, they have a party with it. So let me just put some white there. Good thing is the white's cheap. This was like 99 cents or 47 cents, something along those lines. So let me go back in with the blue and just work them in my colors. If you don't want, um, I've noticed sometimes like people get worried because they're gonna like make their tables get like a lot of um, paint on them and so forth. I've learned that parchment paper, aluminum paper, newspaper, maybe not newspaper because newspaper can tend to bleed through a little, but using those colors, uh, those um, papers will help you not make such a mess, but this is my art table so I think lots of paint on it gives it more of a character kind of way. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use a little bit of the white and kind of just put it in a little just to freshen up the paint a little. I'm not painting anything here on the bottom because that's where I'm going to be doing my leaves and so forth. So I really don't want to uh, get too, uh, too much paint down there because then you're just painting dark on dark colors and they kind of get a little bit more lost in it all. Oh, let me get some black, a little black in there, a little blue. You can go and do as much as like your little heart desires. Like you can, I'm kind of doing more of a, this swirly kind of motion just cause I'm trying to give it like movement in the sky, kind of like as if there was wind. So let me get a little bit more blue. Apparently you need a lot more blue than I remember. So get some more blue and Obviously, like, I'm doing this more at a rapid rate so you can see it, but um, I take a little bit more time, obviously, when it comes to my paintings and so forth. But this is more of a kind of easier way, just do it a little bit faster. I usually don't paint this fast, but time is not my friend. Now you can see I did a little bit more purple in this area just because I want to put the moon here and I want to give it more of like a little depth and kind of how the clouds are around the moon. It gives it just a little bit more um, like the cloud kind of effect. So I'm actually pretty happy on how this came out. This is a great like starting painting like if you like if you get that ambition or you want to do this with your kids and so forth. I used to teach little kids art in Louisiana and I don't know, like there's just certain things that kids absolutely love and this is like probably one of their favorite paintings ever. Like when I was like Starry Night, I mean you could just see their eyes just opened up like it was just the coolest thing ever. So Ladybug Rocks and Starry Night, like they just could not get enough of doing those. So here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do something a little bit more fun. And uh, I don't know, uh, the Van Gogh painting from Starry Night is my all time favorite painting. And so I kind of have like memorized it. My One of my dreams in life is to actually go to New York to the museum to, uh, to actually see the painting and I'll probably be that person who will sit there and stand there and just, <laughs> just cry for like hours, but uh, one day, Mike promised me he'll take me, but we ended up having kids and everything, so, you know, vacations aren't happening very often. Except when we go to Costa Rica. <laughs> so, alright, so let's go ahead and do that good old starry night swirl. So, we're gonna... Okay, so, it's kind of like a cinnamon roll. So, you just go up here, and you make a swirl. And you just continue with your brush. And you kind of just mix it in with, the, so you're using white. You're using the white and you just kind of swirl it in like a cinnamon roll. All right. 
Then you grab a little bit more white and you start from in, in here and you just swirl it and you make another swirl. Now once again, it's like you're doing a reverse cinnamon roll. And you can't do any wrong with this. Like it's just gonna be absolutely beautiful. You kind of try to stay in the middle just so you don't get the line like I just got. And there you are, you can kind of blend it a little bit more in if you want. You can add some more white to it. You can add a different color. Um, here I'm just kind of adding a little bit more to the swirl, giving it a little bit more. So now we're going to let that dry and we're going to put our brush back in the water and we're going to find a smaller brush, preferably one about this about this size. It's a smaller brush, it's not very much bigger. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wet it a little. We're gonna put some white on it. And we're gonna absolutely like let this dry the most because this is like where the moon's gonna go. But that way you can start doing like little circles in the sky, kind of like the stars. I leave them a little bit more textured just because it looks prettier. Try not to get them all the same sizes. All right. Put one over here. And a little bit more, do like a little dot. Now, you don't want to over dot it because we're going to do another little technique that I've done that just really gives the painting a lot more flow since I'm not copying the original. I'm making it my own. All right, so now I'm gonna go and just ever, I'm gonna try to make the moon. So you make your bigger circle and just kind of do this another like swirly effect and just leave it like that. Just don't, just let it dry, let it do its thing. Now I am Now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab another brush from my pack and it's this kind of a brush. So we're letting this kind of dry. Now let's put this one back in water. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a little bit of the yellow. And I haven't even opened this yellow yet. Now here we go. So please comment. Let me know what your favorite painting is. We all have like some painting that like is just like impacts us. For me it was the Van Gogh. For my husband, he loves everything Peter Max. Like, he absolutely loves Peter Max. Um, and just uh, let me know, like, what kind of artists is you, that you like. Do you like abstract? Do you like more classic? Um, have you seen the Mona Lisa? Because I, I haven't, but I would like to know if anybody else has. Um, have you seen my Van Gogh painting? Because uh, when my mom, she went to New York a couple years ago, and I was like, if you go to the museum, please take a picture of it for me. Because that would just like mean the world to me, just to know that somebody that I've never seen. I'm kind of a dork. So here, we're going to get some more water. Heather likes O'Keefe. Ooh, Georgia O'Keefe. Um, didn't Georgia O'Keefe, she did a lot. Um, my sister lives in Albuquerque. And uh, there, uh, she was like very, I hear she was like very inspired by like the Sandia Mountains and so forth. And uh, I thought that was just like really, really cool. But yeah, Georgia O'Keeffe, she does all the beautiful flower paintings. All right, so here we're gonna grab a little bit of yellow and white. And you are just gonna go ahead and you're gonna kind of create, do like little lines. Christina likes Birth of Venus. Oh. I need to Google that. That sounds really interesting. I wish I was more good about like different artists and stuff like that. I need to work on that. So yellow and white. We're just yellow and white around the moon. Please tell me about your eclipse stories. I, I want to hear about this eclipse because I got to miss it because Mr. Snake was outside. Um, hey, do you remember where we got your art table? Uh, we got it on Wayfair. 
Yeah, so uh, this is how you have a good relationship. Uh, if you have an Amazon or an eBay or an Etsy page and so forth, you both make separate accounts from your normal accounts and you have, you have your both passwords for each account and what you do is you go in and you like like a, five or ten different things, especially like if you want to keep in a budget or so forth, and your husband or your wife has the code to it. So you like everything like you would personally love to have and then your spouse can go in and see what you like and what you want and then they buy you what you want. It's like a win-win situation. So I had my beautiful art table that I had kind of hint hint I wanted and uh, we uh, I saw it on Wayfair and my husband's the kind of guy like I sent him a text I like, babes I really really want it and then it shows up. You're really good about that. Yeah, whenever I'm sad, my husband brings me flowers because he knows that flowers make me happy. Um, he usually brings me potted flowers because I want to plant them and kill them. But um, yeah, so like uh, it was uh, Costa Rican Mother's Day on August 15th and our daughter was born on August 19th. And because she was born in Costa Rica, he brought me home my beautiful yellow roses and eucalyptus. I have found that eucalypt, uh, I do have a essential oil diffuser and so forth. I've noticed that um, a lot of times candles and certain scents and so forth, they kind of bother me, but I want my house to smell pretty, especially since we have a dog and a cat and two kids running around. And buying eucalyptus that you can buy in the bundles at like Trader Joe's for like $2.99, they like make your house smell like Pottery Barn or Kirkland's for like two weeks. And so I'm all about that. But um, I absolutely, I absolutely love it. And thank you so much, honey. Yep. It was really sweet because we, our neighbor's daughter was over and uh, I was telling her that it was Costa Rican Mother's Day. And believe it or not, my husband was probably gonna come home with flowers for me. And the smile on that little girl's face when she saw my husband with the bouquet of roses, like she was just like, true love exists. She looked like a, she looked like she was like watching Cinderella and Prince Charming came walking in. I loved it. So here we are. We're gonna keep on going with these little little lines. So as you can see, I kind of what I do is like I circle each like little star in that kind of a circular way. All right, and then I kind of go looking for another one and just work on my little, like how fun would this be for like your kids to do? Like, I don't know, our son is obsessed with like painting and every time he gets in trouble, he always wants to paint mommy a picture. He's like, mama, I'm sorry, you want me to paint you a picture? I love you, mama. You're, you do pretty paintings. I'm like, mm-hmm. We have the sweetest little kids. Yeah, our daughter is absolutely obsessed right now with uh, bunny rabbits. So everything, every time she like, uh, she loves her bunny rabbits and it's really sweet at nighttime. She, she always tries to like come to our bedroom and like sneak in there and she brings all her stuffed animals. It's kind of like she's bringing presents and bribes to come. So we're almost running out of time, unfortunately. So let me go ahead and Put a couple more dots in there and we're gonna keep this up next week and you can kind of see look how pretty like this would be something if you're um, I know this is kind of like maybe a little bit more deeper or random but um, I had a child in one of my art classes and he had Asperger's and off and one of them had autism and they could they were unbelievable at painting like I was just, I mean, my jaw dropped watching these kids paint because they listened, but they were like so precise. And I just thought that that was just absolutely amazing. Just how they, like the Starry Night painting on how they just did each and every stroke. And so I, I was just like in awe. I could not believe it. But let's go ahead and we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna put my dress brush in the water and let's go ahead and just kind of go back over a little bit of a rerun. Please, please, please share this video. Um, look at the shop, look at my artwork. Please comment, tell me which is your favorite painting, which one you would love to see more of. 
and so forth. Uh, this is this is my life. This is what I do. And the only way that I can do this is with help from people like you watching my videos and telling me what you like and what you want. Like this is this is really important to me and it's good for it's good for everything. It's good for you, it's good for me, it's good for all. But let's just go ahead and show you once again. For your little water bottle flowers, all you need is a water bottle and you need the lid. You cut it, go back, look at my video, cut your, your water bottles. Please, if you do this project, post it on, on the picture on the videos, on the link. Like I would absolutely love to see how I inspire people and what people are doing. Because I didn't have a single art class in my life. I've done this all on my own for things that I've been seeing and I think I'm pretty good at it. So I'm gonna just leave it on that note and I'm gonna post some pictures of my, of my beautiful little girl's birthday party and I really hope you have a great day and watch me next week.